and that Manchester United chief executive Ed Woodward has resigned from the club following the failed attempt to launch a breakaway Super League. This will be news that resonates across the, the football planes far and wide. Manchester United fans, not just you, will have something to say about this. This is absolutely massive news. Someone who has been criticised year on year for the decisions that he has made as executive vice chairman at Manchester United is finally gone from your club. The Glazers might not be out, but Ed Woodward is. 08717 Manchester United fans, what is your reaction? Ed Woodward's gone. Danny Mills. I mean... <laughs> Manchester United fans, we want to hear from you. I mean, I know a lot of them personally will be thinking, you know, yes, OK, the Super League was a disaster, but this is a little bit of a silver lining because I think a lot of people have wanted him out for a very, very long time at Manchester United. If I'm meant to be impartial, I don't know. I want to do an Alan Shearer right now, Euro 96 style, wheeling away to the crowd, arm in the air. This to, is the... To, to be fair, you did do three, three, <laughs> three roly-polies around the studio. <laughs> Let me tell you why. Ed Woodward has been disconnected from the fans at Manchester United for the entire time that he has been in control as executive vice chairman there. He came into the club after, of course, massive changes. David Gill leaving, Alex Ferguson leaving. And he has overseen what has been at times a shambolic period in Manchester United history. Not just in terms of signing players, but as I say, that connection, that real connection with the fans. He has been the Glazers man throughout. He has taken home £4 million a year and he's done absolutely nothing, in my opinion, for this club other than sign shirt deals and bring in money. Manchester United fans have deserved better the entire time. I, I truly believe that. They've deserved better decisions from Ed Woodward and those at the, in the hierarchy of the club. They've deserved better communication. Results are one thing. But I think Manchester United have not been run like a club at the top table for the years that he has been at, in terms of his time as executive vice chairman. Best in class is what Manchester United need. And I, I'm, I'm not afraid to say he has not been that. He has not been that. I'm sorry. Nick is a Manchester United fan. He's our first caller right now. Nick, what's your reaction? I think it's brilliant news. I was hot on hold, so I didn't actually realise, but fantastic news. Good riddance to bad rubbish, to be honest. Great. I, I, I think it's really good. Th this is over the European Super League. I mean, Ed Woodward could have gone from his job many times before. Manchester United haven't yet backed out. Does, 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 does Ed Woodward leaving basically mean that he's going to take the blame as an individual? People are going to blame him from it. And, and maybe it takes a little bit off the Glazers. I don't think that's fair. I think the Glazers need to take the heat. No... The Glazers are just as bad. They, I think they've got to go as well. I mean, they're, they're, they're not, I think they're the main instigators in all this and what's happened. Do you know what I mean? I mean, he's vice chairman of the whole thing. It's just disastrous from top to tail, to be honest. We're hearing, by the way, on TalkSport this evening, Nick, thank you for your call. That There has been no fallout, absolutely no bust-up between Ed Woodward and the club. TalkSport understands that Ed Woodward was always going to leave at the end of the season. So that is a move that has clearly been brought forward because of this reaction to the European Super League. Uh, but he was always going to leave at the end of the season. That, at least, is what TalkSport understands. For me, why not now? I'd rather not wait, as far as I'm concerned. Ed Woodward gone from Manchester United. We, we might as well play that song from the end of Wizard of Oz, to be honest. He's resigned over the, uh, the European Super League.